I'm Ethan Moore, and I finally found Clara. She's as rebellious as I used to know her, but she's different now in every sense of the word, much like the world around us. Clara is no longer a human in the common sense, but I can accept that, especially after years of search. She calls herself Leah, and she's the cyborg who turned her back on her creator, which she refers to as the Demiurge. It's already been weeks since she hasn't checked into the system control for cyborgs, and that automatically scheduled her for decommissioning. I can understand her. At least she had some time to fight back. Otherwise, she would have been immediately put to sleep during check-in. Decommissioning is due to happen in 41 hours. To be honest, that's probably more than the sum of my memories of her, which I can't recall. But I'm about to change that. Come. Even if this is not a heavily patrolled area, it's not entirely safe. We need to move before the state security forces detect us, or even worse, we run out of time. Clara, I finally found you. All those miserable years of search have finally brought us together again. You just... You have to learn somehow who I am. I'm not going to leave you this time. I'm not going to leave you behind. Thank you for helping me. The Resistance and I will be forever grateful for this. We just need to get you some firepower. But first, let's get your wounds healed. Leah, this is no medicine for my wounds. away. Keep the distance. Keep the distance. Roger that. Keep the distance. Roger that. Keep the distance. When the Demiurge created me, he gave me an invaluable optical tweezer, which can be used to manipulate objects from close range, cloak the surface it attaches to, or generate a protective force field around the carrier, which also distorts the time space around it. No, no, you keep it. It can protect you. Please, you'll need it more than I do. My body can emit a high energy pulse, which I can use for my own protection. The optical tweezer is also equipped with a regenerative source of energy. It will automatically recharge itself if not used or if you run in electromagnetic fields. Come, I'll show you how to use it. Oh. 
Bombs away. Keep the distance. Energy discharge. Keep the distance. Keep the distance.
resistance. Roger that. Keep the distance.
You have your weapons now. Let's see how we can find the Demiurge and disable my self-destruction module. I have an idea. Is there any communication going on between the robots and the Demiurge command center? Yes, there is. More than that, when Class 1 robots get destroyed or they run out of power, a beacon gets automatically activated, which sends the coordinates to the command center. Great. If we find a couple of these Class 1 robots, and we know their communication log, we can try to triangulate the position of the command center. Actually, there is a military base nearby where they might keep the wreckages. We have better chances to find the logs there. No time to waste. Of course. 
The coins in space-time are now connected. Hmm... These wormholes look different than the ones I'm used to. What are these wormholes? Those are spawned by members of the state security. The Demiurge brought the technology which can open such portals, and only members of the state security have access to it. Get in the wormhole. It tunnels into the military base. I spent all my youth studying space-time. I paid a price too high for that, which pushed me even harder to try to find a way to wind back the clock and repair what I've done. What do you mean? What have you lost? Don't you know who I am? I couldn't find a way to travel back in time, but I found a way to open small wormholes, which would take me to a parallel world, another thread in the clue. What are you talking about? Look, I'll show you. Heads or tails? Tails. At this moment, there is an infinite number of parallel universe threads created. One of which you say heads. One of which you say what? One in which the coin shows heads. One in which tails. Don't you see? For every moment in the world, all the possible outcomes develop in parallel universes. Every question, every wind blow, every leaf which falls. All of these generate an infinity of universes running in parallel. I managed to find a way to travel through these parallel universe threads. I began searching for the one where my past decisions wouldn't have been taken. Where I would be together with... With whom?
That should ruin someone's day. That should ruin someone's day.
The information from the logs is encrypted. That shouldn't be a problem, because most of the private key modules of destroyed Class 1 robots are collected by our resistance. Let me check at HQ if they have them. They were all collected by three of our agents. And where are the agents? They fell down in the Battle of Old Ruins. We need to go there and find the codes. <laughs> 